Hello everyone, in this video I will be telling you about some other resources which you can use for GRE preparation. So first of all I would like to tell you why you should be motivated enough to prepare for the GRE. GRE as you might know is a requirement for many graduate schools in North America and having a good score in this will give you a huge leg up in the competition. A way to have motivation for this preparation is to book a slot before beginning preparation for the GRE. So let us say you want to give the GRE in two months from now. So before beginning preparation, you should book a slot two months from now. And this will give you a sense of purpose and a sense of urgency also in your preparation. If you are already employed and work either full time or part time, you have to take out a few hours each night when you are not on duty for GRE preparation. You can reserve the weekends for revision of whatever you whatever you study during the week. And also I would request you not at all to follow the 14 day preparation plan. Please keep a minimum of 30 days for GRE preparation. Okay, and also GRE preparation resources are very hard to find. And since they are hard to find, you will also need to identify which resources are good, the real deal, and which resources are bad and not worth pursuing. Good resources are those which have questions or theory exactly like they appear on GRE. And the difficulty level should also be similar. They should not be too easy nor too hard. If they are either too easy or too hard, they will not give you an accurate picture of the GRE. Thus, you will not be fully prepared and you won't be able to identify, understand, sorry, how you will actually perform in the GRE. Good questions, by good questions here I mean questions which appear like they will in GRE with poor explanations also constitute bad resources. Here, Magush is a website, is a service which provides a free GRE diagnostic quiz. These uh, these quizzes have just 10 questions, 10 multiple choice questions and there is one quiz for the verbal section and one quiz for the quantitative section. So these will tell you your weak points in a short amount of time. You do not need to attempt the entire GRE practice test. I will provide the links to these tests in the description of this video as well. Now if you if you have attempted the diagnostic quiz mentioned before, I would now request you to please attempt a practice test. It is very critical to identify your weaknesses before starting preparation. And when you have identified your weaknesses, you can tweak the plan and create your, the most effective study plan for you. Since the GRE is about four hours long, I request you to set aside four hours, four contiguous hours, and also sit in a peaceful and quiet surrounding and attempt the test. So two practice tests, uh, tests, sorry, which I would recommend are the power prep tests by ETS, the, the agency which conducts the GRE, or GRE, Magush's free GRE practice test. I will give the link to this Magush's free practice test in the description as well. Now preparing for the verbal section is the tougher part in my view of the GRE. However, there are multiple vocabulary lists available online. Barrel's 1100 word list and Kaplan's 900 word lists are an example of these lists. You can browse these lists, read these list, lists, sorry, to prepare for this section. Many websites also provide some flashcards with the word and their meaning written below them. They provide them for free. Again, Magush provides free flashcards. The editorial section of English newspapers, whichever are distributed and available in your country, is also a source of good quality English content. You can read them. They will also give you an idea about the wide array of topics from, from which you will find text in the GRE. If you are finding it difficult to retain the words and their meanings, Watching videos related to those words is a good idea. 
so you can use youtube to look up videos related to new words this will help you retain their meanings and their connotations as well one other thing is maybe you learned let's say 100 new words in this week so try to use them in your daily life daily conversation sorry you can also write a story which incorporates the words you read regarding quantitative section in the five pound book of gre practice problems by manhattan prep is a very good book you should you should try to attempt all the questions in this book and also read the theory from this book also let's say you are very confident of a topic and you just need a quick refresher on that you can use khan academy to watch short videos related to that topic also gre provides an on screen calculator but the questions in gre are designed in such a way that they can be solved in very few steps using shortcuts thus i would request you not to rely on the calculator too much and try to try to develop shortcuts so uh, once you have exhausted all the options i mentioned before although they are quite a lot you can there are still more books you can read or guides I have written the names of five here. Three are from ETS, the official agency which conducts the GRE. The official guide, official guide for the verbal six section, and the official guide for the quantitative section. These three guides have questions which are very close to what you will find on the actual GRE. Then for the essay section, the analyze an argument and analyze an argument essay section. you can use the book gre Anal analytical writing solutions to the real essay these books book 1 and book 2 these books have sample responses to the to some of the prompts provided on ets ets's official website these prompts are what you will see on your one of these prompts is what you will see on your official gre exam so i request you to not only read these books these books sorry but also answer the prompts written on the website also after reading all these reference books and guides i hope that you have that you would have devised a preparation strategy that works specifically for you okay thank you for watching with watching this video best of luck and i hope you do well in your exam bye